in there you guys are about to witness my 7,000 subscriber gaming setup video you guys I have not did one of these videos in such a long time and here it is you guys there it is as you guys can see right now this is pretty much the overall picture of my room like as far as like where I chill what I'd be editing on what I'd be playing games on there it is right there as far as like a broader picture of my room I'll kind of go around a little bit as you see here I'm a big Packer fan big Bucks fan I'm from Wisconsin if you guys did not know some may even criticize me on that I know I'm a Packer fan you guys but I still definitely do like Adrian Peterson a lot of this stuff I do collect a lot of nice autographs and stuff like that I definitely keep that on the down low though because like honestly I don't really like a lot of people knowing that but I'll just show you guys because honestly it's still pretty cool but overall as you guys see I got like bats autographed bats then I got some like game use the uh, Milwaukee Brewer like uh, helmets then we have some autographed basketballs that's actually by like Derek Rose this is Scooter Gannett if anyone may know that's actually his rookie year baseball helmet and also down here you guys will see Ryan Braun's baseball helmet and that's definitely pretty nice Dude, I'm gonna hear my dog bark and stuff right now. Not good. Hopefully, people don't run in my house. My dogs just go crazy. But that is Ryan Braun's ga uh, or his game used helmet of the his suspended season. If you guys did not know, a couple years back he got suspended for like steroids or I don't even remember what it was. But that was actually the helmet that he was uh, used with that season. Um, I bought it at Miller Park, which was definitely pretty cool. So like a lot of this stuff has stories behind it. Like as you guys see right there, yo, that's a 21 inch smallmouth bass. I mounted that. I actually caught that a couple years back, and honestly, it's just cool to look at. And I got that mounted. It is real. It was real at one point, you guys. But now, obviously, it's just like a mount and stuff like that. So. I'm going back over here, you guys see the Infinite Warfare poster, just comp that over at GameStop. Got that last year, got that also at GameStop, because obviously these are just flip posters, like if you flip them, that, that would be on this other backside, and that obviously would be on like that or whatever, you guys, you guys get it, you guys get it, but overall that is that. Now let's kind of go into like my gaming stuff, because obviously that is probably the most interesting thing you guys are interested in, but as you guys see right here, yo, I game, alright, if I was going to be sitting, I pretty much game right here an Asus monitor it's a really nice setup right here and as you guys see right now I'm logged into Black Ops 3 I'm not playing it if you, I was gonna like record like a webcam video I would like toss it up right here so it works out pretty nice right there it kinda has like a down type like camera view from it so I definitely do like that also here you guys have the Destiny PS4 I got this bad boy right when Destiny was released like I went to midnight release and got this PS4 so I've had that bad boy for quite a while and if you guys are wondering I actually swapped out my hard drives on it so now I, now I actually have a 2 terabyte hard drive in there 2 terabyte is 2,000 gig, and that's obviously very nice because obviously I can store a lot of games, a lot of storage. Overall, I can just store so much, so much more than I could if I would have like a 500 gig like stock PS4 hard drive or whatever. But as you guys see right there, man, that is the dinosaur, the PS3. Yo, I haven't even logged into that in like a pretty long time. It's honestly probably been like two months or so, but I have not went on that bad boy in quite some time, like I said before, and it's. Like, I got that PS4 probably like four or five years ago, and it's still working to its prime, so it's still pretty good. Um, headsets, you guys, I have the PX5s over here for my PS3. Like I said, I haven't played PS3 in a while, so I, like, honestly, I haven't even touched those PX5 Turtle Beaches. Um, honestly, they're all really nice. They're both, obviously, like, I just buy really nice equipment, you guys. You know, I look at it like, you know, you buy nice equipment, you get a good long-lasting life for it and stuff. So, right here, you have the Astro A50s. I bought these bad boys probably like two years ago. They're still working quite fine. And another thing that I want to show you guys is my controller, alright? So, some of you guys may have seen my face scuff unboxing video, and that video did super well on my channel, got like 4,000 views, obviously a really good video on my channel, and, um, alright, this is the stupidest thing ever. I got that two months ago, you guys. This is pretty much brand new, brand new scuff, these $180 controllers right here, a FaZe Clan scuff, as you guys can see. This is kind of my setup as far as if I would be playing. I kind of have like the Galaxy Control Freak, and then I kind of have like the scuff, um, concaved, I think it is, um, what do you call it? joystick and this is the crappy thing so the other day this paddle or yesterday actually this paddle fell off all right i'm gonna see if i can get this zoomed in better so i can kind of show you guys a better view of this all right so this paddle on the right guys fell off yesterday because i was just using it a lot that was actually my jump paddle no it was not from rage it was just from being used for so long and it actually started cracking so i thought you know what i'm gonna super glue it so i started putting super glue on it and i realized that that's probably not the best idea because then the button and like the magnetic button between like the paddle and the controller like stuck with each other and i just then i was like okay so i need to get this super glue off and i tried to break it off and then get a torch to it and it obviously as you guys see 
it literally burnt through my controller. So obviously, that's MIA. The jump is no more RIP FaZe Clan controller. And I mean, honestly, I'm probably not even going to use this scuff for much longer. I'll probably get a new one pretty soon here once I go to Kansas City. I think they got a couple other scuffs that I could possibly use over there. But right now, I'm just jumping with X. It's honestly whatever. I'm still doing really good and stuff like that. But honestly, that is just like such a nice convenience. But obviously, I don't have it anymore. But guys, once again, it was not from Rage. All right. So no one criticized me. I did not throw it. I did not do any of that stuff. It was just from over time use and stuff like I would honestly admit it to you guys if I rage because I honestly just think that stuff's funny so going into my main computer you guys check it out all right this is my like background I just think it's pretty dope it looks pretty cool like the earth and stuff like that now this is a 4k Samsung monitor super nice monitor you guys I picked it up on Black Friday like a uh, uh, probably I think it was last Black Friday I picked it up and the original price on this was 900 US dollars and I got this on Black Friday for $400 so I got a pretty nice deal you guys still might be saying well $400 for a monitor is like stupid expensive but like I said before you guys I buy nice equipment I have my own job no I make zero like literally right now you guys I've not collected any money from YouTube so honestly this is just like my work and all that like I work a lot from right now I obviously don't work anymore because I just quit my job like the other day but obviously I bought this stuff through working and stuff like that so overall I did not have my parents buy it honestly I bought this keyboard the Black Widow you know it's the mechanical and obviously you guys have right here like I said I bought it on Black Friday alright if you guys want to see like a nice overview of kind of what it looks like I kind of show you what it's all about so you're gonna take this down these are actually my headsets that I use for my computer so like if I'm ever like editing doing any of that I edit with these Astro A40s like these are two different Astros these were only like a hundred bucks at Best Buy so honestly it was a really good deal I was like you know what they're Astros I'm gonna buy them because why not so I bought these and now these are like my main like headset for like watching videos doing anything like editing stuff like that I do not actually like listen through my computer through these like all right you guys I'm sorry but I had to actually make a cut in this video someone actually called me on my cell phone which I'm recording with and that kind of stopped the recording but I'm gonna just get back to what I was saying before these are my main speakers that I'll just listen to like auxiliary with so just obviously casual music and also I use like this for like radio sometimes not really though but if I just want to jam out to some music this is what this one's used for the MTX Thunder Pro and also this other MTX Thunder Pro and as you guys see right there that's an RCA and this is also an RCA so I have four total speakers in my room and it's just for me really just bumping and stuff like that and and also, as far as this receiver goes, this receiver is honestly not that expensive. I think it was like 200, maybe like 150 bucks at Walmart or something like that. Overall, it's pretty durable. If you guys can see it, maybe you guys can get a better view of it as you see right there. I don't know how it, it looks oh, okay, but you guys can get the picture of what it kind of looks like. Oh, over here, you guys, I showed you the majority of what this is about. This is the Black Widow keyboard, mechanical, super cool. 4K Samsung, obviously, really nice monitor. Got it for a really nice deal. And going back here, because I know a lot of you guys probably want to see what I record with or just as far as like my voice recording and all that this you guys is the blue Yeti snowball and this obviously is like a pop filter right here and this is also I can probably I might have to get up for you guys but this is down here the road mic stand if you guys can see maybe like the logo if you may recognize it or something like that but this is the road mic stand super nice mic stand if you guys want to drop like a hundred bucks on it honestly it's really durable super like long as far as like compared to my other mic stand the cool thing about this too is like all right so I could either do commentary watch the gameplay on that or I could almost like bring it out and do like a live com like this have my webcam up there and we're good to go like that so overall this is pretty nice really flexible and obviously you can bring it down here like you can put it behind your computer it's like a distraction to me like if I just leave it right here bro like that's just distracting to me like right in front of my face so the majority of the time I just pop it back there and that's how that rolls but that once again blue yeti snowball or no that is the blue yeti not the snowball I actually used to have the snowball but that's the blue yeti it's like the upgraded version of it and obviously that's the road mic stand and Overall, I think that is everything that I wanted to show you guys right on over here. Now, getting on to the PC part of it. Now, some of you guys are going to ask me for like what the specs are, all that stuff. I'll tell you that it's like a one terabyte, thousand gigabyte, obviously. This is the graphics card that I ha have in it. I just like recently purchased this. Probably, I would say, I'd like I don't know, maybe like three, four months ago I bought this. Super nice graphics card. Got it at Best Buy. The GTX 960, obviously a really nice durable graphics card. 
Um, as far as this goes though, I'm just gonna tell you guys pretty much the gigabyte. I'm pretty sure like the gigahertz you could say goes to like 3.3 .3, so it's a pretty fast computer overall it's really nice and like I, like I have decent internet I won't say I have really good internet like uploading videos is super like long and like it literally takes like 20 minutes for like a 7 minute video but like if I was just scrolling through YouTube that's kind of how you guys can see like the processing speeds it's pretty fast it's nice it's durable but uploading videos all the time aren't like the best but it's okay at sometimes but that is pretty much the PC. Also, now I want to show you down here is the Logitech C920 webcam. Now, some of you guys might be saying, okay, why don't you have it up there? Why don't you adjust it up there? Like, the weird thing is with me, you guys, is that I don't like seeing, like, all right, I never trust these, you know? Like, yes, it is a webcam. People can see you through softwares and stuff. Like, you guys never know. If you guys have, like, a webcam, I honestly would recommend just putting it towards the floor or, like, when you're not using it. Don't have it face towards what you do. Every Like, people could literally hack through this program. You never know. Like, literally, that is what I think. I've heard of that. So, I mean, I'm just taking precaution. And I just leave my Logitech down here when I don't record just like that. Kind of like looking at my wall or whatever. Just in case if that may have occurred. Someone goes through my Logitech, like, you know, software or whatever. They can hack it in some way. And maybe turn it on, record it through that way. I've heard of, like, those actually, like, that actually happening to people. So, like, I mean, I'm just taking the precaution, like I said before. But you guys, that is pretty much everything I want to show you guys for the PC part of it. Now these are my games. You guys can kind of run it down a little bit. Dying Light, Battle Heart, Battlefield Hardline, which obviously that game just sucks, you guys. Um, Ratchet and Clank, a game that I play actually quite a bit. I have not really played any of these other ones. Far Cry 4, I actually platinumed. Like, all of trophies, I completed Far Cry 4. Such a good game. Battlefield 4, I still play quite often. And GTA 5, probably like once every three months. Like, seriously. And overall, I don't really play PS3 too often anymore. Now, going over here, you guys this is my mini fridge all right so sometimes you know i'm just really thirsty i'm just like you know what i'm gonna get a drink i pretty much just post up here we have some arizona teas i drink so much water like i literally just drink a lot of water throughout the day as you guys see here too i actually have a little freezer down there i've like literally like a couple dipping dots in there and stuff so the freezer like little part of it's definitely really nice and i kind of stickered it up a little bit because like why not i just put kind of some random stickers on it whatever i really had it and stuff but Overall, you guys, I want to get a bigger picture of the room once again. I think that is really all I wanted to show you guys. None of them really thinking about it, looking around. That is pretty much really the, the end of the video, you guys. As you see, man, I collect a lot of art. I can maybe go up to this a little bit more. Some of these, I, I honestly don't really want to get in depth with all these. Like, the, the prized possession of this is definitely a Reggie White autographed game use like, card. It's right down there. That card was like retailed. I think I got that at like for like 1200 bucks. I think it was like two years ago, something like that. So like that card is super prized because obviously he died and like the Packers won like the Super Bowl. So that was like super huge. Here we have a Wiz Khalif assigned emblem or album, which is definitely pretty cool. And also then we have here some like football stuff and overall here's some baseballs autograph. And I actually graduated high school this year, so this is just like the tassel and stuff that we got from like our hats and stuff. So overall, guys, that is going to be it for the video. I hope you guys did it all enjoy. And if you guys did, man, make sure you guys do drop likes. That honestly much appreciated. Hope you did it all enjoy, and peace out, you guys.